Yesterday, oil rose sharply by 7% and managed to fully win back its previous losses. Crude prices surged despite the data from the U.S. Energy Department, which showed an increase in oil inventories by 1.9 million barrels. One factor to push the prices higher was a giant container ship stuck in the Suez Canal, thus blocking the traffic. This is the main waterway for oil tankers from Saudi Arabia. Despite a deep fall by 15% in the last seven days, oil is still trading at high levels. Experts assume that this was a strong correction rather than a full reversal. As long as the global economy is recovering, oil is unlikely to start a downtrend. Meanwhile, Brent moved slightly lower by 1.4% and was trading at $63.30 per barrel. According to analysts, the current trading range for Brent will remain between $62 and $65 US dollars per barrel. North American crude WTI is also trading in the red, having lost 1.7%. It has settled at $60.10 per barrel. The expected price channel is seen between $59 and $61 per barrel. The ruble has rebounded after a recent sharp drop. Besides, rising oil prices should support the Russian currency and help it advance against the dollar and the euro. So the ruble is expected to enter the channel between 75 and 76.50 against the greenback. In the morning trade, the ruble strengthened and reached the level of 76.05. If the geopolitical background remains relatively stable, the ruble will definitely benefit from that. Today, amid moderate improvement in other major currencies, the ruble advanced against the euro and was trading at the level of 90.80. According to analysts, the euro versus the ruble pair will be holding in the range of 88.50 to 90.80 rubles per euro. Due to the accident in the Suez Canal, tankers with about 13 million barrels of oil have been blocked. This totals around 14 of the global oil consumption. The Suez Canal is the shortest waterway that connects Asia and Europe. A different route will delay the supply for 10 to 15 days. Still, this situation is not the key supporting factor for oil. Crude prices are still determined by the US dollar and fuel demand. The actual reason that drives oil prices higher is the recovery of the US economy and the economic improvement in China. Fuel demand will grow further stimulated by monetary stimulus provided by the Fed, the ECB and other global regulators. At the same time, there are worries that the new COVID-19 wave in Europe and other regions may limit demand recovery. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.